Durham Regional Police have announced the results of a major drug and human trafficking investigation. More than 100 charges have been laid against more than 90 suspects as part of Project Martini. CTV's Janice Golding with the details. What you're looking at here is just me, my own documenting of things that I see every day and trying to change things. Andreas Labraco shows us a long list of complaints and suggestions he's raised with the city about rampant drug use and crime. I have people going to the bathroom outside here and I have to clean it up. The downtown Oshawa business owner says the city lost its business improvement area in 2021. Because uh, the downtown core has eroded so badly. Um, I witness things every day that are atrocious. You just see activity happening at night that people just kind of shrug their shoulders at. A block away at B Inked, tattoo artist B Watkins shares similar sentiments. So we got cameras on our building. We try our best to make sure that we're safe on our end. But in Oshawa, you almost have to expect it. Concerns like these are what prompted Durham Regional Police to launch Project Martini. For five weeks, investigators targeted drug trafficking and human trafficking in Oshawa, Clarington, Whitby and Ajax. Their work resulting in the seizure of about $600,000 worth of street drugs. They include three kilograms of methamphetamine, one kilogram of cocaine, one kilogram of fentanyl and $30,000 in cash. I want to make sure that everybody understands that if you're going to deal drugs in our city and the region of Durham, you are unwelcome. Beyond that, through the course of Project Martini, DRPS conducted 11 search warrants, arrested 92 people and laid 113 charges. Police say Project Martini also tackled human trafficking. This project helps 62 different individuals access public health support programs and an additional 38 individuals to access support programs for sex trade workers. Area residents and business people say they're very worried about trafficking in the community. I've honestly seen it firsthand many times here in Oshawa. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, there will be a girl picked up. I've seen men, men pick up other men, you know, and then where, where have they gone? People get picked up all the time and disappear and then you don't see them ever again. I've seen it happen several times. It's, it's terrifying. I'm stepping over top of bodies every day. Andreas Labraco says he loves his city, but not what's happening to it. There's a direct correlation with a lot of the mental health issues and the drug use with uh, human trafficking and drug use. And I just find it all ties into the drugs. And he says the vulnerable in the community need more than policing. They need more supports. Janice Golding, CTV News.